Okay, today we're going to be working with Blender 2.78a and we're going to be doing some video editing. Previous videos we looked at trimming clips and fading clips. Today we're going to be looking at other transitions, in particular different types of wipes. Let's go ahead and go to oops, uh, here and choose our video editor. Again, I'm going to say add movie. I'm going to go to my folder here, do a thumbnail view here, select these videos. Again, I'm just going to uncheck the sound because we're not going to be working with it today. I'm going to start at frame one, channel one and set it so my project matches the frame rate of the videos. Add these clips and again I'm just going to overlap these videos on how I want them to transition. Just like before with the uh, last uh, fading video with the cross lay, or cross, yeah, anyway, we're going to uh, right click the first video and shift right click the second video and I'm going to go to add effects to strip and you have lots of options here. But the one we're going to look at today is wipe. And I'm going to scroll up over here. You can scroll with your mouse wheel to zoom in and out there. And here you can see a wipe happening. So it drops down from the top to the bottom. Let's go ahead and make sure we have that selected by right clicking on it. And we can scroll down here to effect strip. And you have options transition, which we'll get into a moment because uh, there's different types of wipes and you have a list of four or five in there direction, uh, blur, and angle. Let's actually start with angle. So here we're going, or actually let's start with in and out. So here it's the new video is dropping down from the top, a wipe from the top, okay? If we do in, now it's going to wipe from the bottom. If you want to go from left to right or right to left, you can change this to 90 degrees. And now you have it wiping one way and you can either change the degrees again or just go out and it will wipe the other way. So you have up and down wipes, but you can also do a diagonal wipe like so. Let's go ahead and set that back to zero. And you also have your, your width. So we can go here, your blur width. Right now we have a hard line. If you want to blur it a bit, you can. Now you can have a nice little or which looks a lot nicer than the hard line. So now let's talk about, and again, in and out just changes the direction of that. Our transitions here, I'm gonna put the blur down just to make it clearer on what's going on here, but we can do single, which is what we have. Double, which in some uh, video editors is called barn doors, I believe. Uh, so basically it's either closing in on the video or opening out from the video. And again, you can adjust the angles to, let's say 90 degrees, so it will open and close like barn doors. And again, in and out will change whether it's closing in or opening out. And again, you can still all these blur the lines. So, although the blur doesn't quite look right on that, that looks, still looks kind of hard. I don't know what's going on there. Um, so blur may not work that great on, uh, on the double doors. I mean, it's working, it just, oh, maybe it's just I have it so high. Maybe I turn it down some. I don't know, it still looks like a hard edge, edge to me. Anyway, uh, let's go from double to iris, which is basically a circle that either comes from the center out, or if you reverse it, comes from the outside and goes in. And then we also have a clock, which is a clock wiping effect. You can have it go clockwise, or if you go the other way, it will be counterclockwise. So, I, I, and one thing I want to say about uh, these effects, especially if I go back just to the single wipe, blurred wipe like that, I once watched someone uh, who was working on a video editing, open source video editing software that was on Kickstarter, I believe, years ago, which I haven't heard anything about, so I'm assuming it's not around anymore, uh, that they don't, they're not going to bother putting effects like these type of wipes because uh, the serious video editors don't use wipes like this. And first of all, video editing is an art. So yeah, it may or may not fit into your project. But to say that like professionals don't use wipes like this, uh, watch any of the Star Wars movies and you'll see a few of these types of wipes in there. Uh, and those are fairly popular movies, I would say. Anyway, those are wipes in Blender's video editor. I do thank you for watching, as always. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description. There you can also uh, 
click on support and you can support me uh, either through PayPal, there's a PayPal link there, or you can support me monthly on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash x 1000 Links to all that's in the description of this video. Be sure to check out the playlist in the description of this video or at the end of this video for all my uh, Blender uh, video editing in this series. Uh, I thank you for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.